they're doing is making up rumors, their lies, and they're actually hurting people. Angel's story struck a chord with several viewers, but surprisingly, there were more than 100 comments defending the sites that post about students' alleged inappropriate activities and serve only to bully. Some teens tweeted, why would they shut it down when there are high school and college sites? If they shut it down, someone will bring it back. And another tweet reads, no one better take you away from us. We love you so much. Tagging one of the confession sites that post about students all over the state of Texas. I've been called slutty I've been called chubby and it hurts and you know I'm fake and I have no friends it hurts there are many parents on our Facebook page that feel school districts shouldn't be in charge of monitoring these confession sites, and there are hundreds out there with more popping up every day. Fernando Martinez writes, since when is it the school district's obligation to monitor what happens after school and off school grounds? Parents need to monitor their children's use online, and Alex Garcia says adults need to step in, saying, quote, I think there needs to be heavy fines for parents. The internet can be used as a weapon to hurt just like a knife. Fine a parent and they'll get involved real quick. And that's how people get the image of me now. It's, and it, it hurts because I know I'm not that, but to, for people to think about that like me.